Hi, I'm Chris Major from Chris Wood Heat Services from the Blue Sky region. And I serve a central and northern uh, Ontario region in the North Bay area. I've been conducting inspections and completing installs for a couple of decades. First thing I'd like to explain, a lot of people want to know, what does wet mean? I'm a wet trained and certified installer uh, and inspector. Wet Wood Energy Technology Transfer, that's what the acronym is. A non-profit training and education association. I'll be producing a small series of videos of the most frequently asked questions that are difficult to answer over the phone. Of course, first and foremost, there is no replacing having an experienced certified tradesman evaluate and install a major mechanical system in your home, regardless of the form of energy, whether that's gas, oil, electrical, and wood. Uh, anybody can buy a wood stove at a hardware store and the chimney required and install it. Wood is not a regulated industry. But the insurance companies uh, or other third parties may demand that a wet certified inspector inspect and install. Today I want to help you to determine first and foremost the height of the chimney that's required. And that's to be compliant in Ontario. The regulations on this are very common in uh, uh, all the provinces and even uh, parts of the United States, but you have to check your local regulations if you're not in Ontario. So one of the requirements to figuring out how much chimney should ex uh, extend beyond the roof of your, your house for the install is you need to know the pitch. This is easily determined uh, with one simple tool, and that's a measuring tape. Now you have to do this safely. It may not be safe for you to start going onto a roof and figuring out your pitch. There's simple ways to do it. Typically, roofs uh, in this area are a 512 or a 412 pitch. And I'll show you uh, one easy way. Sometimes it could be an extended garage where the roof is very low and, and with the with a, a step stool or a small ladder it's easy to uh, get up to the soffit and and to measure it this building behind me is a shed that's exactly the same as the house right here and i'll just show you very simple how to figure out your pitch using this measuring tape so often there's identifiers that make it a little bit easier could be siding that's put on horizontally or whatever the case may be but I'll just show you so I have a line right here going across I measure out 12 inches and I measure from that point up and it's 5 so this is a 5 12 pitch every 12 inches that roof rises 5 inches so that's the one element to the formula for determining the height of the chimney required if I was to install something in this building or one with the same pitch. So the first rule you need to know is the 3, 2, 10 rule. This is uh, relevant to factory chimneys and masonry chimneys. It's a 3 feet, 2 feet, 10 feet. So we'll just draw this out. So this chimney needs to be out of the roof at least three feet. you can include the cap that's measured from here the highest point to here it also has to be two feet higher than any obstruction within 10 feet that could be the ridge could it be another building 
So the way you determine that is inside where the wood stove is going to be, you measure this way how many feet you are from, say, the ridge. So in this case, if this was six feet, you would have to determine the pitch of the roof. And in this case, we'll say that it's a 512 pitch. I'll demonstrate how to get that number uh, after we go over this. So if it's six feet from the ridge, it'd be five times six, which is 30, plus 24. You always add 24. So the height that this would have to be would be 54 inches high from here to here. So you need to determine the pitch. If this number here was 15 feet, you only go up to 10. So it's always one to 10 feet. And if the, the chimney is gonna be more than 10 feet away from the obstacle, you stick at 10 regardless. So the math here is, pitch is 512. And then the example we had, it was six feet, so that's 30 inches. And you always add 24, because we want to be two feet higher than anything within 10 feet. And that's how you determine the height that you need above the roof line. Now what happens sometimes, you have to remember these sections are in three feet, so it's never an exact science. You're going to be you know, higher than that. If you're really, really close, you can count the cap in that distance. But you have to remember the higher you go at some point, the chimney chase um, is affected by the cold outside and the wind wicking the heat from the chimney. So going higher isn't always better. And the important thing to remember is that 60 inches you need roof brackets. A support bracket would go like that and that's to hold that factory chimney in place above 60 inches. So we're at 54 here, we wouldn't need roof brackets on this. Now I'll show you how to determine your pitch and, and to do it safely. So when you buy your chimney sections, in the instructions they're going to have certain charts and so on, um, offset charts and that, but you're going to see that they have a chart for the height above the roof. And in here you'll see 1 to 10 and across the top is the pitch and if you do the math if uh, what was it I had at six feet at a 512 and it says 54 inches so it'll coincide with that the unfortunate part is this is after you buy your chimney in your planning you may want to know how many sections you need it's very common when people purchase their chimney sections they buy an additional one should there be uh, more space in the attic or whatever to, to make sure they have it on site and re they return the additional length that they're, they're not required. On my website, Chris Wood Heat Services, I have a link to CMHC Residential to Wood Heating link. It's very concise, small chapters, large writing, nice diagrams. I really would recommend you do that. CMHC is a Canada Housing Agency and it's a Crown Corporation. This information is invaluable to doing your own install. And I really would recommend that one way or another you, you get to that. But it's easy to read, it's easy to comprehend, and the information is priceless. It really is. Next video that I'll be doing 
will be on hazardous location in storage garages and uh, the upper uh, ever popular man caves everywhere.